forehead here. My internet crashed. Thankfully, I stopped it before it got bad. Back to fighting this horrible ass boss that I really don't like. Like, this boss honestly really sucks. It's a video game boss with a good voice. Yeah, but there's nowhere to fucking hide, and how do you dodge the claw attack? Fucking okay, get out of the way. How? There's no hitbox in the arm. I died. There's no hitbox on the armor. Oh, the really? Hands. That's... The game doesn't do any attempt at telling you that. Also, I died, but... Well, maybe it expects that you try it at least once. No. Why would I try it? Because that's... That's video game logic. In most other games, I would try that. Yeah, but I play RPGs where it's... Fuck, they didn't work. Okay, let me try something else. You can ask I am an asshole because I play good video games. When's the last time you played a good video game, Kyle? That's what I thought. Bam 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 bam. No, I need a fucking dance arrange remix of Ridley's theme. So why does his stupid neck hide the fucking jewel? Yeah, like how do you get out of the way of the fucking thing? Space jump. Oh, that's actually not bad idea. The only hard part is how fucking small his hitbox is. Good. You are a hitbox. Oh my god, fucking combos! Fucking combos. Stop fucking using combos, your fucking combos, neck! Fucking combos, fucking combos, fucking combos. Samus, hop a little less, combos, please! Combos, fucking. You have to be. You have to hold a direction to space jump. To punch. No, I'm talking about her hop so I can fucking hit the weak point. Dead. Oh, I had one hit left of me. That's what she said. <laughs> I killed the horrible boss that shouldn't exist. That has three times the health. He's about to blow up. How do I get out of here? Fucking ship's about to explode, dude! Get out of here! Wait, I'm trapped. You're supposed to go to the uh, ship. Where do I? Oh, roof. Oh, everything's fucking hidden passages. Yeah, it is. That's stupid. Yes, just a space. Jump. Guys, your ship's about to explode. I recommend leaving. Must have killed Samus. Or brain explosion. They're gonna die anyways. Yeah, they're gonna die anyway, so they may as well try and kill Samus. Yeah, but they could, I don't know, escape. If they escaped, they would also die. Why? Their boss is dead, their robot boss is dead, their other boss no, is dead. If they, if, if they don't kill Samus, then their brain explodes. Sounds like a pretty flawed life existence. If they don't exploit the Metroids, then they brain explodes. Rip Metroid. So who is the titular Metroid in Metroid? The baby Metroid. But that didn't exist in the second game. 
in the original Metroid, they were just the names of the random creatures. There was no name for Metroid. But then why were they called the game Metroid? What? They called the game... No, I'm pretty sure they came up with the name first. Why is Zelda called the Legend of Zelda, considering Zelda's in, like, one cutscene and one dialogue box to the original Zelda? Because people like to tell the Legend of the Princess, not the Legend of the Zelda. What kind of fucking time. monarchy has a legend around it? Does Link have sex in Zelda 2? Uh, it's a possibility. You can either choose to do it with a hot chick or an old lady. Fucking out of the way. Oh, you can't force it along. Okay, there you go. Why was it bouncing off the force? I don't know. It's a shine spot there. Yeah, so if you were to speed run, you could just like fucking run through. I'm not gonna speed run. Not you. Wait, how do I get to the ship? The map. It's the same room! There, there's a tunnel What right the there. fuck?! Yeah, defeat that guy. Uh... Oh my god, fuck off! Power bombs. Wait, I need to be fucking Ridley again?! Yes. Hi, Jordan. Hi, we're Metroid Zero Mission. We give you enemies in our escape sequence because we can't be like every other fucking Metroid game. We need to be different. Uh, Samus Returns has enemies in the escape sequence, which is fucking stupid. The sequence overstates its fucking welcome. In that game, he does. This entire game is overstated its welcome. You're an asshole. What is the point of this extended sequence? I... Ask the Nintendo. I am... I can't. Why not? Samus! Hop! Oh my fucking Christ. I just <laughs> wasted eight goddamn super missiles, cause Samus can't fucking jump like a white boy. I'm full white boy's so. No, Samus, just do a fucking hop, Samus. Hop, skip the jump. This Way is a shitty boss fight. Welcome to shitty walk. I take your order. I wasted all my fucking super missiles. No, it's my engine crashed. No, uh, my console, my PS4 was on. Uh, He's I just now know. done with phase fucking one. Phase. Like that was a shitty escape sequence. I had nowhere to restore my health. Space power don't, enemies don't drop anything. I was fucking killing everyone I came across. Sure game. Be this piece of shit. Oh my fucking why do you keep directing your missiles and eye lasers differently? Make up your fucking mind. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm not gonna fucking win this time. I can't only hit him with one missile now! I could have played a good game today. You are? No, the game's not good anymore. This sequence sucks. You were praising it like half an hour ago. I was praising the stealth. The way they make you backtrack through this section, the way the boss is designed, the Metroid is all about backtracking. No, it's different. The Metroid is all about backtracking. It's fucking 
4.45 p.m. Metroid's other areas are designed around backtracking. This is just crap. What about the fucking lava area from Prime? You mean Magmar Cavern? That was just stupid game design, but that's Retro's first Metroid game. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Stop dying. I'm not dying, Samus! God. The fucking arm blocks it too! I feel like playing Axie the Birch. Have you heard of that game? No. It's a, it's a Metroid game. It's, it's a Metroid slide game. It's definitely some like other, like, part, like, other, like, suit power-ups that have different guns. How do I block the fucking eye lasers? Oh my god! This boss is- it defines everything wrong with our Samus controls in this game. Contact sensitive jumping should be obliterated from the existence of video games now and forever. You know that she'll always have it, right? In every Metroid game. Yeah, but the games are designed better in turn with it. I have no issues with it in Super, I have no issues in it uh, with it in Samus Returns. But in this game, in this boss fight, it defines everything wrong with our Samus jumps. Because this entire boss fight relies on Samus being able to hop at different heights. When it relies so much on you having to figure that out. And I I just hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I'm sick of this. This game has overstayed, it's fucking welcome. No game should ever do that. That's honestly how I felt with Super. I just wanted to be done. Yeah, but Super has a good conclusion. It makes it at least feel worth uh, it. Yeah. You can't say that as someone that knew the conclusion. I fucking beat him in nine Super Missiles, what the shit. It's so dumb this game. Like that's see that's how fucking easy the bosses are when they decide to work better. Also, can that's we... how easy it is when you decide to actually hit them instead of fucking up. It's so anticlimactic. It's so against Metroid. It's so tacked on for the sake of having an extra ending sequence. It was it was it was GameCube era Nintendo. Every, everything from like GameCube to now, they didn't really know what they were doing. And you know, you can't like you can't say Super Metroid's ending is eh, considering you like Super Metroid's ending. You have to think of it as the ending of the game and as what leads into and how the game does it cinematically. And it is the best storytelling. The game was a bad game. <laughs> it's the best storytelling in any non-SNES Nintendo game. In any, uh, sorry, in any SNES non-RPG game. Sam, a space jump, please. Thank you. Like, name a platformer or a Metroid venue with better storytelling than Super, Me than Super Metroid in that era. In that era. Metroid is the only game in that era. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that. Why it's good. That doesn't mean it's good, it just means it's came at first. Yeah, but it's a good ending. <laughs> you see that the baby Metroid's born and it leaves and then it comes back and saves Samus and sacrifices itself and the music's good and the boss is good and the sounds are good and then you get the fuck me rainbow laser. I, I don't like that boss fight. <laughs> I don't why. It is one of the best final bosses in gaming. such a good twist on Metroid 1's final boss too, where it's like, oh, cool, I beat, I 
baby. Mother Brain. Wait, what? Mother Brain has a body? It plays perfectly with the expectations a sequel should do with when it comes to being a sequel. Are you, are you comparing Super Metroid to modern standards? Or is even still, I think it's just a modern game. I didn't play Super Metroid until like two months ago, and I don't like the game as a well. whole. I think it's one of the worst Metroid games. I like both the Game Boy Advance games better. Power Bomb did nothing. Like, I didn't play any of the Metroid games until like this past year. So. What do I fucking do? Exist. I kind of want to go play some Metroid Prime after this. This is shitty. I hate it. 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 Fucking die. 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 Because I fucking don't know what else to fucking do in this section of the game. The game gives me no hints at what the hell I'm meant to do to get to the fucking spaceship. Like every other Metroid game, it's the place is gonna explode. Get to here. This is just that. The place is gonna explode. What, you wanna know what to fucking do? I don't know. Yeah, you need to kill the fucking stupid enemies. It's the true final boss of the fucking game. Is that piece of shit. This is a shitty epilogue. It's a shitty final sequence. It's a horrible way to end the Metroid game. But the game leading up to it, I found more enjoyable. Okay, Super Metroid has a good ending, but a bad game. Zero Mission is a good game with a bad ending. Zero Mission is like 60% of a good game. I fucking hate Meridia, by the way. <laughs> in, in, in Super. I don't think anyone likes It's the worst area of that game. I found the map room as like the second to last room in the entire area. The only room I found after that was the fucking Plasma Beam room. Sounds like a new problem. <laughs> It was right next to the start of the area too! Did like, I, through a I, fucking I, hidden wall! Did I just beat the game? Super Metroid has too many fucking hidden walls. I look forward to my 4 hour playtime that is probably going to be popping up in them. Like, it's probably just like 4 and a half hours. It, it, it undersells the uh, time because of fucking safe states and all that shit. I don't like... most of this game. Samus Returns remains my current favorite Metroid game in the Metroid game. Samus movie. Returns is very poorly designed. <laughs> Samus Returns is better designed than this game. The entire game looks the fucking same. Everything is the same blocks. They turn they added enemies to the end sequence, which was fucking dumb. And turned the baby Metroid into another fucking upgrade that you need to take back through the entire map. It's fucking stupid. Better than a tacked on final ending sequence where you have to go through a ship as Samus that is very needlessly not needed and puts me back in Needlessly place. not needed. Yeah, it's needlessly <laughs> not needed, Kyle. That's that's how much I feel it's unneeded. Like, it's so unneeded, it's needlessly unneeded. No, I don't like the fucking Chozodia section of Zero Mission at all. There is, all right. like, maybe one good part in that sometimes the stealth is really intense and the rest sucks. And hey, Bill Trinan. No, I, I hate Chizodia. I hate the entire part of Chizodia, aside from, oh, it sometimes is fun. Everything else sucks. Um, other than, and, like, that's my one biggest complaint about Zero Mission. My other biggest complaint is there are too many sections that were, that just feel, like, the game is at odds with itself. There's so much things that are like, oh, wow, this is a really good Metroid design. Like, some of the boss fights, some of the stuff in Norfair and, um, in Brinstar Depths. And then you have so much of the, oh, well, this is a fucking NES game, isn't it? Yes, it is an NES game. Yeah, but it's like a half remake. And it's the worst kind of remake, where they keep bad things intact for the sake of, it was like it in the original. It's like the anti-Majora's Mask. It's not a fucking reimagining. Yeah, but like, want to see a good remake? Ocarina of Time. All of my US friends say that Ocarina of Time 3D is the worst version of that game. No, it's not. Ocarina of Time 3D is great. Majora's Mask 3D is the flawed one. Eh, I prefer 3D to the No, I can't stand Majora's Mask 3D for how it dumbs down the gameplay. Clear time. 
three hours for it, make, it, uh, it makes quests. And it's some four hours, so I get to see like helmetless Samus though. What? Yeah, that's that it's it makes that's what I call it super much, right? Um like three and a half hours. Uh it makes uh game we talking about again. Majora's Mask. Yeah. It makes all of the side quests easier to keep track of. Yeah, like, the, the upgraded bomber's great. notebook is the one thing I think is really good. Everything else that... I think is a bit of a downgrade. I don't know about you, but when I first played the Nintendo 61st, Nintendo 64 version of Joe's Mask, I had trouble figuring out how to beat Old Darwa. That's like, see that? Oh, oh that, way that's another it. thing that sucks about fucking Majora's Mask 3D. The boss fights are horrible. I prefer the 3D boss fights. No! Except I, only, they except I only got up to Great Bay. Yeah, exactly. They ruined Georg and they really ruined Twin Mold. Twin Mold takes too fucking long to beat. Twin Mold is so. Yeah, in 3D, right? Yeah. Yeah, he, he's fucking really good in the original and then. They just turn into a fucking tokusatsu fight. But like a bad tokusatsu fight. <sighs> anyway, that's thankfully... Like, I don't like Majora's Mask 3D. I love Ocarina of Time 3D. I think it does a lot of things to... Oh wow, I came across him. That's right. Ocarina of Time 3D does a lot of things that just make it a better game. But no, Majora's Mask 3D is like, too I have down. I have friends that call the GameCube version of that game the best one. I mean, the GameCube version of Ocarina of Time is also really good, but I like 3D's little changes. Like, okay, no. Actually, no. No. I, I, don't, I, figured, I, don't, it I figured it out. I figured it out. I figured it out. The only reason Ocarina any... The only reason That's anyone only would reason. say Ocarina is better non-3DS is people that, eh, I played it on the original. Because, um, I bring up one point. Iron Boots! <laughs> Am I wrong? I think the furthest I got in 64 when I was younger was fucking... Fish. Fish man. Can't remember the name of the level. Jabu Jabu? Yeah. I think that's where I got up to. I got, I got up to Zora's Domain. You know what I'm talking about when I say Iron Boots, right though? Right? Yeah. Are you playing the fucking Switch now? No. Uh, oh yeah, you unlocked. Yeah, the you unlock game original game. Metroid. <laughs> I was like, I was like, we're still talking about like remakes. So I just fucking go start playing Metroid NES. No fucking. Uh, there's, there's there's mods. Uh, Metroid NES is fucking horrible. There's, but there's actually. Um, I was about to say I'm enjoying this Metroid more than NES Zero Mission. Way better. I am enjoying this more than I enjoyed that last part of Zero Mission. I am not kidding. Uh... At least the platforming feels better and more consistent in this, in this version. Um in. You know, you know the uh, the fucking what's the uh, Turian entrance gate in the in the NES? Yeah, it's a game. bottomless pit. Yeah. <laughs> I like, I love NES trolling. But you don't like it when it's still in the remake. Yeah, because it's a remake. If I wanted to play the NES, like I will never get angry at an NES or an SNES game being unfair, because I know what I'm getting myself into. If I'm playing a remake on any system later than Gen 5, I expect better. Oh my god, I forgot Samus' fucking pea shooter. Yeah, same as in Zero Mission. How do I get the long beam? It feels weird. Having the fucking pea shooter in the Game Boy Advance game feels weird. I've already forgotten when the long beam is. Yeah, no, for me, like, and yeah, you, you, um, you know what I mean by the Iron Boots thing, right, in Ocarina? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Fucking... A, it's, a quick, it's a quick toggle. It's a menu! It's it's an item, like anything else. Yeah, instead of an armor piece, you have to go manually change. Oh like, my god, Samus exploded. Yeah, when Samus dies, she fucking explodes. That's... Morbid. Splish. Splish. Yeah, no, for me, Splish. I can I can rate the quality of a remake of a remaster of a port or whatever the fuck you'd call these on a scale of this. Too close to the original. Zero emission. Too de deviant from the original and what made it what it is. Majora's Mask. And then the the Goldilocks of this trilogy is Ocarina right in the middle at the just right. It keeps the tone. It keeps the feel of the original. 
but makes a few changes to make the game a better quality of game. Like too the Iron um, Boots too, thing. Too bad I never liked Ocarina of Time to begin with. I mean, I think Ocarina of Time gets better with age, to be honest. Like, Ocarina of Time has it's a bell curve. Like, a bell curve like that. Because Ocarina of Time, if you first play, like, wow, that's really fucking good. And it's like, every other Zelda game is better. Oh, wait, actually, Ocarina of Time kind of invented modern Zelda, so it's actually pretty good. Okay, just because it invented it doesn't mean it's the best. Yeah, but I, it, hate, I, I fucking despise when people say that. Ocarina of Time is better it than really Twilight Princess. It really annoys me because fucking things evolve for a reason just because it started it doesn't mean it's the fucking best what 3d biz Are... what 3d zelda is better at Oc than ocarina of time then like m like fucking uh mario for example like mario mario is shit mario is yeah well, mario no I'm, I'm talking zelda what zelda yeah i will agree mario 64 is crap what zelda is better than ocarina of time 3d zelda majora's mask ah uh... Twilight Princess. Not debatable. Majora's Mask has less dungeons, therefore technically it has less dungeon content if that's what you're looking for. Ocarina of Time has, what is it, nine, seven, seven dungeons, eight dungeons, something like that. So you have plenty of dungeon has, content. Next, next has, point. It has ten, actually. See, that's just much more content. Next point, hit me. Next Zelda I mean, game. You can say that it has more if you consider like there's little areas like the Pirate Fortress. Um, what, what Zelda game is better than Ocarina of Time? What 3D Zelda is better than Ocarina of Time? Fucking go through Okay, Wind Waker, sailing all the day, sure Hyrule Castle's, f uh, Hyrule Field's fucking long, but uh, at least it's easy to traverse and easily to remember where you're going, unlike the Great Sea, it all looks the same. Um, you, other... can say the same you can say the same thing about the Twilight Princess. God, I don't I love getting near the end of a game and having to hunt out seven Triforce shards? Man, it's so good, unlike Ocarina, where it's, hey, we're near the end of the game, cool, let's go to the final boss. Cool. Twilight Princess. Why is this game so long? Why is it so long? Where's the end? Where, where, what, what, why? I rec I rec I, okay, in my opinion, the only reason why Ocarina of Time is so quote unquote good is just because it's a 3D version of A Link to the Past. I mean, whereas every other, whereas every other 3D game Zelda has tried to do something new somewhat. I am not disputing that fact. I'm just saying, as compared to other 3D Zeldas, Ocarina of Time is the just perfect porridge in the 3D Zelda bowl. Doesn't mean it's my favorite, doesn't mean it's, like, necessarily, it doesn't do everything better, but in terms of an overall package, it's the just perfect in the 3D Zelda bowl. DK DKC2 would be the just perfect in the five games, yet I consider two other games to be better, um, more like my style yeah like that's the same like i uh, major wind waker is my favorite zelda i that's just i'm sticking with that fact wind waker is my favorite zelda but yeah no it's a flawed as fuck zelda and i still haven't beaten the hd version i might stream that sometime i have that I've, wii u I've, there for some I've, reason i think the, the only zelda game was uh, the only 3d zelda's i finished on wind waker and skyward sword i've uh, i finished skyward sword and ocarina i haven't finished wind waker majora or twilight princess i got i got up to i got up to the sh after the Pirates Fortress in Ocarina 3D, I recorded from a friend once. I got up to the middle of the Great Bay Temple in Majora's Mask 3D, and I got up to Midna's Lament area, and actually, no, shortly after, I think I was at the Snow Temple with the fucking giant mansion with the Yetis. I don't think I'll ever fucking finish Twilight Princess. I, you, you know what I mean by Twilight Princess fucking, like, this game is too long, right? Yes. Get three things. Cool. Now we can take down Zan. Hey, <laughs> I'm Zan. I'm taking your things. Oh, now you're stuck as a wolf. Oh, crap. Okay. Well, oh crap. Cool. I'm Link again. Also, okay. Let's take down Zan. Gather the things to take down Zan. Take down Zan. Hijacked by Ganon. By the time I got to the part where Zan took my items at the start, I was like 20 hours in. Yeah. No. The fact, like, and that's the thing. It, Twilight Princess is worse Ocarina of Time, and I will forever hold that opinion. <laughs> It is Ocarina of Time if someone didn't realize, no, you're meant to make the game have a flow, have a structure, not, let's do the same thing but Ocarina of Time, but make everything much longer and much more tedious. Let's do the character designs of fucking ass. Let's make a fucking worse water temple somehow. Let's make fucking friend sidekicks have an important chore game. Ilya, who asked for this? I, uh, I, okay, that Ilya scene is bad. 
because she's fucking falling from the sky, but I like Ilya at the start as a character. Can we bring up that too? Two hours for the game to begin. I don't ever want to hear anyone yeah. fucking complain about Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword is at least, oh shit, I'm attached to this Zelda. I'm attached to this Link. Twilight yeah. Princess is bland as fuck, Link. Now I'm a wolf. This little imp bitch is bossing me around. Where's Zelda? There's Zelda. Still a fucking I kinda wolf. I kind of want to play Skyward Sword again, but with a mod that removes fucking Fee. I mean, yeah, I kind of hate Fee. Okay, that's another. That's the other thing that, that like, this fucking. I mean, the, the Ocarina only... has the worst, worst Navi. Only, no, Fee exists. My, my only problem with that is that. With thigh. Yeah, the only th the only reason I hate Fee is not because she's bland at the start, it's because she repeats literally everything that's just been told to you. Hey, go get this! Fee appears. Hey, go get this! Tattle is the best Navi in Zelda. Yes, agreed. I love Tattle. Followed by, fo followed by Midna. And then the King of Red Lions, and yeah. then Navi, and then Fee. Like, Midna's, Midna's only a little bit... Like, Midna's quality is held down by the game she's in. Yes. So yeah, it would probably go, it would go Tattle... Uh, Tattle, Midna, King of Red Lions, Slash Zelda, uh, uh, Navi, Fate. Also, I didn't, re I didn't refute Skyward Sword or Breath of the Wild, so we go. Skyward Sword, it exists. Breath of the Wild, um, Breath of the Wild really has a story to compare to Ocarina's, so... Yeah, yeah Skyward uh, if... Breath of the Wild needs more long, long structured dungeons as opposed to... I don't, I don't like any of the four beasts, and the fucking. I, yeah, I hate Breath of the Wild's dungeons. They're all, they all, the, they're all the same. They're too samey. They look, they look the same on the inside instead of being like unique. Breath of the Wild does it's two like, things yeah. bad as a Zelda game, which it's a great game, but as a Zelda game, it fucks up the dungeons and it fucks up the story. It needs to be slightly more guided, like, if you're gonna make an open world Zelda game, take, like, the old style, where just, like, give us, like, a quest, but don't give us quest markers, just give us descriptions, like, I mean, like they did for the side quests. It sucks, because I... But, like, instead of, instead of quest markers, tell us where to go through words, leave that objective in our menu, but don't have it on the HUD. It sucks because- But don't vote, oh, but don't put a fucking marker on the map. Like other games. The reason I hate Breath of the Wild is the same reason I love Zelda and hate other Western RPGs. The story is treated secondary. It's why I can't get into Bethesda RPGs, why I can't get into a bunch of other shit, because it's all about, oh, side quests, the open world. But when I play a game, I want a good story, especially I mean, a 3D adventure okay, so... game. So, and right, Breath of the so, Wild sacrificed what I love about Zelda, which is always the story and the characters, for so, ha, look at ha, all ha, the you, shit ha, you ha, can ha, do. Have you considered playing The Witcher 3? I mean, I know that's a game I would enjoy, but I just don't have the time. Yeah. Because, okay, it has a quote-unquote open world, but it's split into chunks. Like, each each map is about the size of maybe one one of the sections of Twilight, Princess, Twilight Princess's Hyrule Field. Or maybe a bit bigger so like it's possible to do all the side quests in one of those areas in the space of like half an hour to an hour and then you move on with the story or you can just ignore them and move on with the story anyway but the side quests are interesting they're all very well voiced and the story itself is also really good i love how we're not even talking about anything related to metro anymore no, this is this okay, this is how it's meant to this is how commentary is fucking meant to be. This is why I think we'd be better at doing a fucking commentary channel than we do we would at doing like live streams and shit. I mean you're not incorrect. You're definitely not incorrect. We should okay, New Year's resolution start New Year's resolution, start a commentary channel together, maybe find some other people to record with, and just in our free time record commentaries for movies. Games. Cool, I leave it up to you to do everything. You can be the, the Ryan. I'll be the Johnny. <laughs> too busy with my own okay. shit. I'm too busy with my own shit. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully you'll be around, otherwise I'll just keep pinging you every half an hour. It's like, no, I have, right I have time to commentate. Like, that's... <laughs> I can comment... Like, fucking... If you're asking me to talk, uh, yeah, I can talk. <laughs> like, I can talk off of fucking anything. And I yeah, because you don't have you don't have school anymore, so it's not like oh, I gotta fucking do this fucking science essay shit. I can even hell, I can even talk about doing shit like that. Anyway, we finished this game like 15 minutes ago, so I should wrap this up.
I would have to fucking make this a mini part now. Thank you, OBS. Oh no, it's a correction. Thank you, my internet, for crashing. Anyway, that was Metroid Zero Mission. Um, overall, uh, I gave a bit of my thoughts during the credits, but yeah, no, it's, it's, it's a good game. It's got a lot of shit. It's got a lot of either outdated shit or just bad game design tacked on shit. It's still pretty decent. Um, so it, it's a good, it's a good entry level Metroid game. Ten out of ten. No. Seven. Point, Seven point eight out of ten. Too much tacked on epilogue. To be fair, I would probably give this game out of seven point eight. So what that's. Did IG, I, that makes me think. What did IGN get, give it? Probably like nine. Let's go. IGN zero mission. Oh, it's hard as fuck. So anyway. Um, blind Nine out of ten. They gave it a fucking nine out of ten. I fucking said that. I'm too good. Um, bl blind rewind. will be back next week with Super Metroid, probably. Most likely Super Ugh. Metroid. I could, I could change it last. Have, have some series variety. Play something different, then come back to Super like a few months from now. <sighs> fucking everything else. Want to play is an RPG. Okay. Well. How about, how about no? Hold on. Okay. Let me fucking get my. Let me get my SNES screen up here and see if there's anything else I want to fucking play. What's next month? January. Next yeah. month is true in January. Fucking. Fucking. Live or let die! Make me bow, bow. Mother 3 mate. No, I'm playing Earthbound first, that's right. Um, next week we'll be back with Yu Gi Oh! Worldwide Edition. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm gonna go eat. Have fun. Cool, thank you for joining me. I'm just trying to string off anyway. Um... Oh, what the f I'm just going through here. Here's my fucking Gundam ass Gundams. Ah. Uh... I don't know, I don't want to make it cool. Maybe, like, Mario RPG, or Link to the Past, or Earthbound, or Super I don't know. We'll find out next week. Um, tomorrow, however, for New Year's Eve, uh, probably in the morning, I will be streaming the finale of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep, Aqua Story, and also the final episode. Come hang out for that. This is a good stream. I beat a Metroid game. I'm happy. I one off the list. See you guys next time.